and Virgo is um, all about wholeness and well-being. And there is, Jeffrey Wolf Green spoke about, uh, uh, I really appreciate this analogy of Leo is the pyramid where uh, the being is on top, the king or the queen, special, realized, and honored. And Virgo is when that pyramid gets inverted, and now the one is on the bottom. And really what it represents is Virgo is the embodied realization of humility and humbleness of the ego. So it's necessary for us to develop this healthy sense of identity and sense of self-knowing, to stabilize in it, to be resourceful within ourself and our communication and healthy in our emotional body and our expression. And then there is that Virgo is that bridge, that stage to there is so much more beyond us and beyond me. And yet I'm an integral part of it. And I essentially am here to serve the whole. So Virgo is very much focused on service, service really to the well-being, to the betterment to the right path. Um, I like to think of Virgo as the, um, like the feng shui artist of the zodiac. Uh, you know, they just sort of tweak everything, move something a little this way, a little that way, clear the clutter. They're the, the space clearers, <laughs> the clutter clearers of the zodiac. Um, and and we'll go much deeper, of course, into all of this um, as we go further. And there, there's, you know, there's the very deep lessons that each one of these archetypes carry, um, the burdens, the challenges, the shadow, and then, you know, the highest, most um, mature and realized state of being also. And so we'll go further into this as we go through the course.